everybody, Joe C. the Keyboard Wizard here, and this is a little uh, introductory lesson to block chords. Block chords are a device used in uh, jazz piano. Um, they're usually associated with George Sharon, who did them uh, quite a bit back in the 50s, early 60s with the George Sharon Quintet. Um, they were also done very well by Oscar Peterson, who does everything very well. And uh, Bill Evans made some recordings. Um, for example, he made a recording of uh, On Green Dolphin Street, which he did several courses just in block chords in that style, which is kind of unusual for Bill Evans. But um, anyway, a lot of people have asked me, how do you do block chords? Well, they're basically five note chords. And what they are is you play one note in the left hand. <laughs> In this case, C. We're going to do a C major block chord. And then four notes in the right hand. E, G, A, C. Okay, so if we went up the C major scale, we would play those notes like that and harmonize every note. I put in one little chromatic note there. Okay, now let's go back to that uh, song I opened with. That was the first eight bars of an original tune. And um, <clears throat> let's look at the block chords there, okay? We had... Starts with that. Here's the melody. So when we construct the block chords, first thing we do is double the melody in the left hand. The left hand is only going to play one note. The right hand will fill in the rest of the notes of the harmony. Okay? So, the first chord would be D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B natural, D sharp. And this would actually be a B sixth chord if we put the root in the bottom which goes up to the C chord the C chord being E G A C E so that's your first two chords and let's try to connect those legato see because phrasing is important uh, in music to get your point across so we want phrase Next one would be, okay, and what we're trying to do when we do this, we're really trying to imitate a saxophone section in a big band, so keep that in mind. Okay, so we got the next two chords would be A minor, seventh, two. This is uh, really an E flat ninth, okay, with the thirteenth. The ninth, the thirteenth. No fifth. Okay, so the first chord A minor. A, C, E, G, A. Second chord. C, D flat, F, G, C. So, first four chords. Okay. Next chords, next little part. That's really a um, four chord phrase there. Those have to be connected. So the first chord is an F major seventh or a D uh, ninth without the root. You can think of it either way. And this chord would be E. F, A, C, E. Then we're just going to go down half step chromatically and play D sharp, E, G sharp, B, D sharp. So then back to the D. Okay, now up to an F sixth, F. C, D, F. And 
the next chord, this would be um, a D diminished, really a D full diminished, functioning as a G um, ninth, a G seventh with a flat ninth, with leaving the root out. A lot of these times, the, the roots are left out in these chords, but they are implied, and if you had a bass player, or if you wanted to play the bass, like, which could be done, it's, it's pretty difficult. You could do that and put the bass note in. Okay. Um, so here's the first few chords of that whole thing. And I cheated a little here, which you can do. I only played one note on these because it's very difficult to get there, although it can be done. See, I did it. I didn't do it there. It's, it's easier. So you don't have to harmonize every note. And if you look at transcriptions of uh, George Sharon, um, and there's quite a few of them out there complaining that sometimes he does leave, he just does the octaves, he doesn't put the full note in. Especially in rapid passages, it gets very difficult. But if you get a lot of them in with the five note block chords, it'll leave the ear with the impression that they were all harmonized. Okay, then the next part, same thing. Okay, now we go to the next section. Now this is a C sharp minor seventh to a D minor seventh. G sharp, B, C sharp, E, G sharp, going to A, C, D, F, A. Okay? Next section, F sharp ninth without the root, C sharp, E, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, going to the G ninth without a root. D, F, A, B, D. So, now your assignment will be to learn those first uh, few bars using those block chords. So, um, that, that's the first part of that, uh, this particular video. If you'd uh, like to get more of this information, um, if you'd like to get a copy of the complete lesson on video or on MP3, or if you'd like to subscribe to the whole course, the whole course is only um, $10 for 10 lessons. You really can't beat that. Or if you'd like to take online piano lessons, please contact me at wizard cea2016 at gmail. Dot com. That's wizard2016 at gmail.com. Okay? Thanks for listening and have a great day.